Hello, today we're gonna use the cross to editor because it's what I'm going to try to explain today show you is way more easier using this I hope it all goes well so what we do today uh, we're going to use one arpeggio and only one sound and I will create a sort of orchestra so what we do is we use the harp sound number 80 and this is only sounds now now it sounds like this and it's my own arpeggio which has uh, well it's, it has two layers like this this is the drum uh, the bass and then you can just without a latch on so if I take my fingers off this is two-way system so I use now two fingers and now So this is the arpeggio without the ledge, but I will put the ledge on because it's more easy later when I explain this. So this is only a harp sound, but this arpeggio, which you can see with global here, you make your own patterns if you want to. And you can see that in step one, I put the velocity on 80. I hope you can see it here. And here is on 80, here is on 80, here is on 80, here, but not here. Here it's on 50, and here it's on 70. And now, what happens is you go to the, go back, so this is what you have to remember. All these velocities are different, and you have to put the arpeggiator here. Um, to um, let's say here it is yes you have to the gate have to be on the step and the velocity has to be on the step otherwise it will go with the key or whatever so now it, you can program it here and um, so that's the first step then we go to um, sound and um, what you hear, hear, what you see is that um, this is the sound in the oscillator pitch, so it's a harp sound only. And I'm going to change it. So what I do is I do just very simple with oscillator one and two. I go to one. I go first with oscillator one because we have here we're going to make four sounds in oscillator one and four sounds in oscillator two. But we don't want to get a mess, so we first start with oscillator 1, then we go back. And we do it just very quickly, as I know. So now, for instance, we, let's say that we want to, well, we, we, I know in the middle, so we take a suit piano and do this all improvised, so it's all live. So, second one, we take something like. Well, doesn't matter. Then some bassy stuff. Let's put in some. Where is the bass? Here's an acoustic bass. So now we have four sounds. What we do is, you have to watch what we do, because here you can see there's only one now. You can only hear one, but what I'm doing is I be, the first I'm going to take to 100, sort of, almost 100. It's not very easy to do this with the mouse. It's actually quite annoying. So now we have four, but here comes the fourth. So I take the linear, well, I now take the power. So, and we put here. But you only have two sounds together, so it's one and two, two and three, three and four, that you have to remember that. So you get the acoustic bass and the clave together, or the 
clavi and the EP or EP in the harp. So that's what you get together. And I will show you now because this sound is like this. So this is now. idea already and then now I have with the keyboard on so I will put out the arpeggiator so now you have these sounds and these are now because I know how it works sort of I put them all level all the same but I want to show you one thing because that's what why we do this so we go back to play and then we do this let's say like this Watch this, this velocity. I'm gonna put it up. You will hear. Now, the sound goes into this area because you put the velocity up. So these two you will hear. So now we go back, and we put them in the middle. You will hear that the clay and the EP will come in. Now we play it here, sort of in the middle. So if we go down with the velocity, and that's the acoustic bass. So normally, what you do is you put a high sound here, let's say that. Put there the bass because that's better. So here's the bass. You hear it already how nice this is, and there's only one sound, of course, but because the arpeggiator is set up with the different velocity levels. It reacts to it, but it also creates your own composition. I know how it works now, so it takes some time. So now the bass is gone. And you can do, use the gate as well. But this you can do online, it's very easy. So, this is number one now we go to number two and as you hear this is only the harp because here is the piano so let's do something more adventurous let's get to Yasuku set do it again this is one so now we go to two and again what we do is take out there you hear it already coming and there it is you hear it magic and suddenly and then you go to play, and you go try, turn on the velocity, and which is, this causes the same. And gone is the flute and everything. And when it comes in, and you turn it back there. And then you go back to the first one, and then you have them together.
So this is what you can do. It's very simple if you know what to do. So what you need for this is this. So you can also change it while playing like, oh, I like a little bit more quiet. This is it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. So have fun. If you have questions, don't hesitate to ask.